Well, a blessed good morning to all of you under the sun of my voice. Welcome to Moments of Inspiration with your friend Minister Rick Company from Hatchie Bay, Luthra in the Bahamas. And today I say thank God for life. Listen, you know, all of this week we've been talking about doing things now or the urgency of now is our topic. And you know, on the first day we talk about exercising now. The second day we talked about Stop talking negative words now. Yesterday we spoke about doing something now. Yeah, getting up and doing something. Today I want to talk about mending relationships now. You know, there's a verse in the Bible that says, Do all that you can to live in peace with everyone. That's Romans 12 and 18. Do all that you can to live in peace with everyone. Now, some of us know that there were some family members that we don't never want to see in life. There's some family members we haven't spoken to. There's some neighbors we haven't spoken to. There's some neighbors we don't want to see. There are some church people, my God, who we don't want to see, who we don't speak to. There are friends and colleagues and co-workers who, child, I don't speak to her. But hey, I don't speak to them, buddy. Yeah, that's how we live. We live in a world where we have broken relationships with people based on things they've done to us. And you know what is so sad? That many people die and leave this earth without forgiving people who've done them wrong. That's very sad. I heard a story about four old men who used to sit down at a, at, a, at, a, at a house at a corner, and every day they would sit down and talk about the things of the village, what happening in the community. And for years, and these were all Christian men. And one day, another Christian man was passing and everybody hailed the gentleman, you know, good afternoon, sir, good afternoon, sir. And one of the Christian gentlemen sitting down on the porch says, after the man, man left, hmm, I don't speak to him. I had him in my heart for the last seven years. And the other three gentlemen look at him and say, what? You had him in your heart for seven years? All 180 pounds of him? Unfortunately, that's what some of you are doing today. You have people in your heart. You're holding grudges. Somebody did something to you a thousand years ago, and you swear you'll never forgive them. Somebody acted crazy with you, a neighbor, and you promise, I ain't gonna never speak to that person no more. Listen to me. You will take sick, you will die, and you'll leave this world, and how you gonna stand before God with hatred or unforgiveness in your heart? I understand. People tick you off. People upset you. People get under your socks. <laughs> but it's okay. The Bible, see, God is the equalizer. God fixes all things. And so Romans 12 and 18 says to us today, do all that you can to live in peace with everyone. That neighbor who throws stuff in your yard, mm -hmm. do all you can to live in peace with them. Those children, hallelujah, who don't want to see you, some children only see their parents on Mother's Day. Shame on y'all. Some of y'all only check for your father on Father's Day. Shame on y'all. All year, every day you ain't here, don't know what mommy get. But on Mother's Day, you won't come with your whole, your hand loaded, all kind of flowers and money and etc. But all through the year, your hand swinging. That's not how we ought to live. And so the urgency of now says to us, live in peace with everyone. Doesn't matter who don't like you. Doesn't matter who says things about you. The Bible says rejoice. Our responsibility is to show people better than we can tell them. Yeah, you are an example of the believers. That's what the Bible says you are. And so if you are an example of the believer, you have to live in peace with everyone. Let me tell you something. There are some people, yeah, when I see them, I just go way back in my mind. But I got to remember that the Bible says I have to live in peace with everyone. It's urgent for you today, my friend, to forgive, forget. And don't talk about, I'll forgive you, but I can't forget you. That's foolishness. You can't forgive unless you forget. And God forget your sins. So why you can't forget the person who wronged you? As much as possible, live in peace with everyone. Why? Because it's urgent and you got to do it now. Do it today. 
That person who you haven't spoken to for a long time, call them today. That person who you haven't seen in a very long time, call them today. Call them now. They might die. They might never be able to say sorry to you, but you can say sorry to them. Sila, think and act on those things. God bless you today.